Good day. This is Pastor JT from New Calvary Baptist Church here in the lovely city of Detroit. Early on the end of the work week this Friday, you have made it and you ought to give yourself a hand. I appreciate the opportunity you've afforded to me. Uh, this space to share with you each and every work day, the word on the net, encouraging you uh, as you navigate in this space called life. Look, I don't want to take a whole lot of your time, but I do want to invite you uh, to uh, select a healthy, well-balanced church, not only if it's in your proximity, in your state, but also consider uh, connecting with us here at New Calvary, 3975 Concourse Street in the lovely city of Detroit, each and every Sunday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for Sunday School or 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for worship. You can connect with us at both times on our website. You can connect with us at both times uh, at uh, our Facebook page or our YouTube page, or as I uh, talked about earlier, you can come to the campus. But find you a healthy, well-balanced church. If it's not New Calvary, make a New Year's resolution to connect with a healthy, well-balanced church so that you can be undergirded by the Word of God. Look, the passage of Scripture on today is coming from the book of John. John chapter 1, verse 46. And that verse says, Nazareth. Can anything good come from there? Nathaniel asked. Have you ever uh, been second guessed, prejudged based upon where you have come from? Whether you have been prejudged based upon your skin color, whether you have been prejudged based upon your gender, whether you have been prejudged based upon where you were raised. Folks prejudged you. Folks looked at you through the lens of what they thought was failure, what they thought uh, was unsuccessful, what they thought could never produce anything. That prejudgment was in the past. Look where you are right now. Someone were to ask you, can anything good come from where you was raised? Can anything good come from your familial lineage? Can anything good come from your culture context? Next time you're asked that question, you better say with no hesitation, you best believe because I'm connected to an amazing God. God can produce the best from challenging situations. That's why whatever challenging situations you face, give your impossibilities to Jesus. Give those things that look hopeless to Jesus. Give those things that you have tried to fix and work out, give it to Jesus and he will make a way. He will make the impossible possible. Folks will look at you and look at your life and ask rhetorically, can anything come from the Thomas family? Can anything come from a little town called Maywood? Can anything come from a city named Detroit? Can anything come from a city named Cleveland? You can say with no, no hesitation, you best believe because look at the God in me. Look, I hope that blessed you on today like it blessed me. Continue to connect with me, thank you for connecting with me on Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram. I look forward to connecting with you again next week. Take care.